is William, hopefully your favorite videographer. We are here at the Dallas Area Rapid Transit Board meeting of November 12, 2013. The agency known as DART to Dallas, Texas residents. As a service to the community, we are planning to cover DART board meetings from gavel to gavel. This week is a quorum and business is quickly dispatched and a minimum of public comments, possibly due to the unexpected northern and back-to-back -back Tuesday meeting nights, makes this a very short meeting. It's um, 6.35 and um, this meeting of the DART Board of Directors is called to order at, uh, on, uh, on Tuesday, November 12th at uh, 6.35 p.m. Um, first order of business is the approval of the minutes of the prior meeting. Um, Second. <laughs> any opposition? Uh, excuse me, those, um, those in favor? Uh, uh, any opposition? And 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 none. Um, order entered. Uh, the, the, today we do something that we don't do very often. Matter of fact, we've never done this one before. Uh, we are. Um, we like to recognize our former board member and chair, uh, Mr. John Danish, who has left us after eight years to serve the city of Irving. Well, you might have always been serving the city of Irving. Um, to the Dark Board of Directors on uh, uh, June 23rd, 2005. Uh, he is the immediate past chair of the Dark Board and uh, served on many committees during your eight years. Um, you have been a member of APTA, transit member. Uh, you have been a member of the APTA, APTA. Transit Board Member Executive Committee, which is uh, a, a high office, and recently elected to the Irving City Council. Congratulations on that. Your commitment and tenacity has been appreciated by the Dark Board of Directors and staff. John, we thank you for your service and we wish you well. And we have something for you. Thank you. We have what's ever in this box. <laughs> Which I know it is. It's a lapel pin. <laughs> Another pin. A watch. And we have something else for you. Oh, thank your, you. Your, your name flag. Thank you. And I, I do want to personally thank you and wish you well. Thank you very much. Good luck to you. <laughs> Once again, thank each and every one of my board members how great it was to be having the privilege to serve with you. I hope Mr. Stouffer will uh, serve you well and continue the direct tradition of Irving, correct? And uh, we're moving <coughs> forward and uh, you know I will always be here to support 
what DART does, and I wish you all the very best in the future. Thanks again for this recognition, and thank you for letting me be part of your board. Um, our next order of business is public comments, and um, will the vice chair read the public comment? Okay, general public comments will be allowed at the beginning of each DART board meeting for a total of 30 minutes, and again at the end of the meeting when the 30 minute period does not accommodate all persons who have signed up to speak. Individuals who had addressed the board in the past 30 days will be recognized to speak during the public comment period at the end of the meeting. During the public comment period, board members may not interact with the speakers or other board members by asking questions or offering their own comments. Members of the public are reminded that their behavior during the DART board meetings is governed by the DART board code of conduct for citizens, news media, and visitors. Personal attacks, impertinent or slanderous remarks, and boisterous conduct will not be allowed. Each speaker will have three minutes to address the board. The green light on the podium will indicate when you can begin speaking. The yellow light indicates that you have one minute remaining, and the red light indicates that your time has expired. And the first speaker is, Mr. Chairman? Uh, um, the first speaker is Mr. James Harris, and the next speaker is Mr. Richard Sheraton. Good evening, my name is James Harris and I live at 5606 Shady Crest Trail in Dallas, Texas. I am a retired DART employee of just short of 27 years. i first like to say that I really enjoyed working with you, John, uh, on the Defined Benefit Retirement Committee. I will never forget the night you wanted to walk to get a steak in 30 below uh, degrees weather in Chicago. <laughs> Uh, I'm here tonight because I attend every defined benefit meeting, and I don't like what I see. There, the uh, fiduciary responsibility, the transparency, and the due diligence. This morning, I've always said that when they move money, when you move money, you have to have a motion and a second. When you talk about moving, money like two million dollars and I did that when I was on the committee. I served on the committee just short of 14 years and I've always made a motion to move money. This morning it was put out there by the CFO that passed practice. We're not talking about past practice, we're talking about moving money. You don't move that kind of money without having uh, some kind of transparency. and. Uh, I have a problem with that. And then on the audit report, I didn't like the audit, way the audit report was done. The actuary came in, he gave uh, the draft. He didn't come back for the uh, finalizing of the audit. They brought in a new auditor. Didn't know anything about it. We had Deloitte and Touche. Uh, I'm not, I didn't familiarize myself with the new auditor. And as far as I'm concerned right now, it's not in compliance with the uh, House Bill 2664. Every five years, you're supposed to do an independent audit. Haven't seen that. And the last thing that I'm going to talk about is that I have never heard of someone saying, I don't know where you're going to get uh, monies from to pay a person. All monies for to be paid out of the trust fund for retirees. There's a young man that's been had, he's turned in his paperwork and it's been there for 17 months. Disability. And I've never heard of a document talking about you didn't do it within two years. That's not the way the federal government applied that. Now all this other come after that, it's, it's hogwash. 
you're not in compliance with the federal government. And that's what I have to say to you. Thank you. Um, the next uh, speaker is um, Mr. Richard Sheridan. Yes, uh, thank you, Mr. Strauss. My name is Richard Sheridan, live at 322 Forest Lane, Dallas, Texas. And I'm here to speak about a couple of issues, the transit problems and DART rail braking problems. I remember visiting Fort Worth Water Gardens about 15 years ago and saying to myself after walking down the unsafe, unrailed, slippery steps leading down to the pool of water, this is unsafe and someone is gonna fall off into the pool. One of the regrets in my life was not contacting the city of Fort Worth about it because a few years later, two children fell off the stairs and drowned. This was a shining example to me, and it should be to all of us, that we must do what we can to bring dangerous public situations to our public servants. There is a dangerous situation with the DART bus and rail lines. And just to summarize, there are some bus drivers out there, and there are some train uh, drivers out there that just have too heavy a foot. And I'm not talking about a situation where, and by the way, I coincidentally happened to run across a lady that filed a lawsuit, and it was claimed by DART that uh, the bus operator brake to avoid a collision. Well, that may have been the case in that situation, but I would say 90% of the time that trains stop way too fast and causing injury causing people to fall off their chairs, causing people to hit their heads on, on rails. It's a major issue, it's a public safety issue, and I hope you address it. And I also hope that you go back to um, this lady, Miss, the, the lady in question, I won't mention her name, and s see if you can compensate her for what she's been through. Two incidences. Paratransit contractor problems, I was here a few months ago when there were 20 or 30 paratransit riders who were outraged and in tears with the subcontracting to save money of taking the disabled and the elderly around town. That contract is $186 million and they, they were fined less than a million dollars, which is an insult to the riders because that's no incentive to do a better job. I think after a couple, three months of the initiation of this, was it the third time? You subcontracted out these services, you should have been on it. But you weren't on it, and now the article in the morning news said you're gonna fine tune it. I don't think fine tuning is required. I think what you should need to do is be public servants, and this is a public service, and take back that work, and figure out how to do it in-house. Because I don't see it going away. Because out there, they're profit motivated, and at $26 a ride and a driver gets $13, that driver is trying to make a living. Get the profit out of providing good service to the elderly and the infirmed. Handicapped, I appreciate very much and have a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Mr. Sheridan. Um, that concludes, that concludes the, the public comments. Um, we will now take up items uh, for vote by the board. Um, Jerry Christian, uh, Jerry's not here. Richard? Thank you. Yes, Chairman, item number four, contract for Medicare Advantage HMO and PPO plan for retiree medical benefits. Did come to the administrative committee. Dr. Christian's not available today. I would ask that we move for final approval by this board. Um, those in favor, aye, aye please. Aye. Uh, and this is for items four and item five, correct, Richard? No, just four now. I'm going to do five. Four? Okay. Yes, yes sir. Um, those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, Richard? Thank you. Item number five, contract option for self-insured medical insurance administration for DART employees, retirees, and their eligible benefits. This is came for the administrative committee. Dr. Christian is unavailable, and I would ask that this item be moved. I make a motion this be moved for final approval by this board. Uh, the, those in favor, say aye, please. Aye. Any opposition? Motion carries. 
Um, you the vice chair, you, you have items six, seven, and nine. Yes, I have six, seven, and eight. Uh, Ms. Ms. Gates yes. has nine. Okay. Uh, item number six, which is the authorization to convey a permanent access easement to Gateway Pioneer uh, in the city of Richardson. We discussed it in uh, committee as well as committee of the whole. It was approved unanimously, and I move that we approve this item. The, the, all those in favor, uh, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carries unanimously. Okay, item number seven is to approve a 10-year lease agreement with one five-year option with First Glendora, uh, Glendora Partners. I make a motion that we approve this item. Second. Those in favor, say aye, please. Aye. Opposed? Okay, and item number eight. Yeah, that carries item eight, please. Is the declaration and sale of surplus property on uh, South Trunk Avenue. We discussed it in committee, as well as committee of the whole. It was approved unanimously, and I move that we approve item number eight. Those in favor? Aye. Opposed? That carries. Um, Ms. Gates, uh, item nine. Yes, Mr. Chairman, this is a call for public hearing on experimental services implemented in 2013. This matter was um, approved unanimously in the committee as well as on first and initial and final consideration by committee of the whole and I move its approval tonight. Second. All those in favor, so aye please. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Um, the next item is um, uh, the appointment No, you can go away. Randall Chris Manning. Thank you. Second. Um, but those in favor, aye please. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, there are no additional further comments for which we have received cards. Are there any others that wish to speak? Um, there being no others, uh, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you all very much for coming. This is William, hopefully your favorite videographer. If you like this video or hate it, tell us in the comments section below. We even like it when you call. If you want to see more, please like us and follow us and get all of our video and updates the moment they are posted. If you don't like the way Dart is handling things, please leave comments below and lay it out for everyone to see.